Hey YouTube, welcome back. So in this video, I want to speak a little bit about um, Nork fleas, okay? What are they? So Nork fleas, as they're known in uh, my community, are typically behaviours, traits, habits, coping mechanisms that a child or adult child has picked up from the narcissistic parent. So how do you know if you have them? Okay, well, you have to be super critical and analyse your own behaviour. While you're in that environment with the narcissistic parent, you have, as the child, you have no other choice but to behave and react according to the situation around you. Okay, it's literally, you're literally in a survival. You're, you're in survival mode. You're trying to manage, appease and acquiesce to an abuser. So it would be natural then that you would adopt unhealthy and toxic coping mechanisms. It doesn't make you a narcissist. They're easily switched because, you know, if you are, if a healthy person comes to find out that their behaviour is impacting, hurting and affecting another individual in their lives, you know, we're quite quick or I would be quite quick to try and change that or adapt to maybe a healthier way of trying to get across whatever it was I was trying to get across. Okay, so you may be, narc fleas would consist of, for example, being highly volatile, all right, very reactive, maybe slamming things around as a demonstration of your annoyance or anger, uh, giving people the silent treatment, regularly ghosting them, as in giving them the silent treatment. They've done something to annoy you in some way or something that you have taken a dislike to and instead of talking it through and processing it, you just ghost them. You might pick up those kinds of habits. Um, maybe you're verbally aggressive, name-calling. That could be considered narc, narc fleas. Um, all those kinds of unhealthy and toxic coping mechanisms, what happens is to the child is they're transferred from the narcissistic parent onto the child. You don't recognise or grasp that these behaviours, they're not you. They've been transferred onto you, okay? And they're so easy to change. It does, it does not make you a narcissist, okay? They're easy to change. Um, and I think, does that just cover narc fleas? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to add to this. No. So it's just behaviours, toxic behaviours, habits, coping me mechanisms that you've picked up while being around the abuser, okay? And that's all. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody's well. Uh, maybe leave me a comment and a like. Consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye for now.